Welcome back to Acoustic Shop Labs. We are here today to answer one more age-old question, coated or uncoated? The idea is they're supposed to make your strings last longer, they're supposed to sound better for a longer period of time, and I guess that's what we are going to be testing here today, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. They, they cost twice as much but last three times longer. We had our shop technicians uh, put some strings to the test. We, uh, Scientists. We have will. our control set of strings, brand new out of the box, we're going to listen to. We're going to rate those one out of ten. And then we have our scientific uh, concoction uh, consisting of lemons, uh, hot sauce, vinegar, vinegar uh, a little bit of sweat, tears, blood. Yeah, there's no opinion here. It's science, folks. Yeah, don't argue. So here we go. You guys ready? I'm ready. Pass on. Uncoated string. I'm gonna give that. These a, are new strings, right? Yeah, brand new, out of the case, out of the box. I'm gonna give that a one out of ten. I'd say that would be a six to me. That's about where I was gonna go. I, I'd probably say seven. I know what that. I know that guitar. I'd say it's it's pretty average. We do have to consider the guitar. Next strings, please. Here we go. Here I'm guessing it's going to be a guitar again. Yep. See, definitely more life to those. I have to say they definitely are brighter. I'm going to say... There's more clarity. There's more volume. Give that a 7.5 to 8. Are we going with whole numbers? I'm gonna say nine because I feel like they eight. feel new and you gotta leave room. on that guitar especially. Are you saying no in German or no? Eight and yes. a half. Can yes. I give a half? Are we doing the halves again? She said whole numbers. Whole numbers, okay. I don't care what you do. Alright. I'm gonna be conservative. I'm doing an eight. Um can you guys uh, put some new strings on that? I think that it's gonna happen. Even brighter. I disagree. There's definitely some metallic y brightness to it. Yeah. It feels very But there's unloaded. also like a weird kind of midi rangey kind of. They got this trench technique. I think that's duller than the last. I'm gonna say. I think I'm gonna also give that one an eight. Honestly, it sounds like a seven. I didn't like it as much to me as the one right before it. I don't think it was bad. No. It was actually pretty good. So I guess I'm gonna have to go with like a seven. I may have to shift my scores down. See, you didn't uh, leave yourself room, did you? You kind of Whatever. beat yourself into a point corner. You know what? A point corner? You know what we should do? <laughs> what should we do, Jay? Listen to the next set of strings. Oh, yeah, bring it on. All right, string number four. Two. Those sound dead, coated. Yeah, definitely wow. high for me. It's weird because there's like that fresh metal sound, but they also go quonk, 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 quonk. They're quacking. No strings are quacking at me. You've compressed them. Yeah. You know what? Those strings make me feel sad. <laughs> there's, there, it's like, it definitely sounds as if they were new and destroyed. Did you um, buy those strings at the uh, toilet store? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know you could buy the strings at the toilet store. What, did you use shoe strings on that one? <laughs> Get it, Kyle? Uh, never mind. Anyway, uh, my number on those, I'm going to say those are a solid three. I said five. Six. Whoa, he's not a three. That's pretty 
Harsh. It's pretty foul. It's aggressive. Hmm. All right. Next time, could you uh, bring better strings? <laughs> Can you emulate the sound of a guitar? Yep. Those are, I mean, those are above the last one. Yes, they are. But not much. Sound a lot like the first set. <laughs> yeah, very much. Thinking like back the first to that seven. I say it's a ago. little bit warmer though than that first set. I actually find it to be a little bit. It's a pleasant tone. It's rounded. If, yet if they didn't go dead right a, right a after six. playing this, I'd say that's a good sound. Yeah, seven. But those are brand new, so I'm a little worried I'm, how long they'll last. I think I'm on a six. I'm gonna Maybe. say seven. A seven. You talked me up to seven, seven as well. So um, my score so far has been seven, eight, eight, six. Back well, to seven. Good for you. So I'm like right in the middle that of the road. Like way down. And I'm, I'm afraid that I have not you left myself. You were being a little extreme. Very, I don't know if yeah, you were cranky because you hadn't had, had coffee yet. I didn't get here. my coffee yet. That's what happened. So now that the controls uh, test has been done, yeah. we're going to move on to our own proprietary treated strings. The acoustic shop treatment, as they say. So we had our technicians. Yeah, what exactly does that mean? That means that our technicians uh, treated the strings with uh, a, a very scientific concoction of... I believe the uh, recipe consisted of lemon juice, vinegar, salt, hot sauce, sriracha, uh, I don't know what else. They sat for an entire week in that solution. We let them dry, we wiped them down, and then we strung them up. And we're going to have Trent wear gloves just so he doesn't get the tetanus. No, that's okay. But now we're going to go through that, that set of strings and we're going to rate them with the same 1 to 10. And we're going to see truly does coated strings make a difference in the end when you've rubbed junk all over them. Play them dirty strings. <laughs> Ooh, I can hear a difference. Fresh. Fresh is definitely the thing we want to talk about. Something like Tony Rice strings. <laughs> What's weird is like the center of those. Can you play? Yeah, the center ones almost sound okay. The bottom Sorry, ones. Yeah, bottom Whoa, yeah. magnifique. Magnifique. So we're gonna wow. we're not gonna rate these compared to the new ones, right? We're gonna no. start a new ten, one to ten. Yeah. Okay. And so I'm definitely gonna give that one a three. Yeah, I'm, it's, I'm gonna say it's a, not like complete. I'm, I'm gonna give myself I, room in case there's some really bad ones, so I'm gonna go yeah. to five, right in the middle. I've uh, heard worse. Those are our baseline. Those are pretty bad. Because of my three that I gave that one set, which I admittedly was a little bit low. You can alter that. If you okay, want. well that one way back there, it should, probably should have been a four-ish, five. Ooh, maybe. look at you being generous. Um, well, I mean, it was there. Was six was a good. Anyway, we're gonna go back. Uh, with this one, I would probably put this at a four. It's definitely. I mean, there's some characteristics. Of life it's almost like it hints at life but it's dead okay so i'll give it a four too you've persuaded me <laughs> you're easily swayed <laughs> you are so swayed please give me them next dirty stanky strings ready for another stank Stanky I think you can smell the vinegar. These on are us. the stanky strings. Ooh. I think those they're lightlier. Lighter. Yeah, those are lightlier. Surprisingly, not dead. Those are probably like at the bottom of the first control list. It would be about where that comes in. Yeah. Right? So it's five, six. I'm about a six. I'm about six. Yeah. yeah. Those so, don't have all that much stank on them. Yeah, they lived up to the abuse better than the uh, first set did. So, Dude. if if you find yourself uh, playing your guitar for a week with vinegar and lemon juice and hot sauce and a number of other concoctions on your fingers, those strings might be a good enough for you. What, them strings are dirty. They ain't dirty. <laughs> you know what I mean. They have some stank on them, but not stank. No, they they weren't awful. So yeah, I would I have to go with you guys. I'm gonna put that at a six. Wow. Six all don't around. Don't say that. Don't say that in a row. No. I'll put mine at six point two just to be safe. <laughs> six point three. 
don't want to be getting the five nine string demons six. out here. <laughs> well, let's move on, shall we? Dusty strings. Dusty strings. Not bad. Dullness to it, but yet yeah, they do huge. sound like brand new strings. I'm giving it an eight. I'm perplexed. I'm perplexed. Yeah. I... For our abused strings from 110, that one fit at an eight. Uh, I, uh, I'm trying to find out if my my opinion is skewed by the time between the strings. I told you that'd be hard because we've got to wait for them to change. There's a little, like, there is a little bit of a like call. Is that the way I remember it? Can you guys quit talking over? I haven't felt that this was a problem until this moment. And now I'm confused and a little sad. Hmm. Hmm. Glad we got to hear that. I'm, I'm glad we all stopped just to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it a uh, eight. I, Is that what she said? You're stealing my score. I am actually not quite there. There was a roundness to it that didn't seem totally fresh to me. There was, it de definitely sounded new. I'm going with a seven. Seven is where it's at, guys. I didn't know we were rating on whether they sound new. It's just like, how good how do they, they sound, sound after the abuse? Yeah, I think. Oh, well. I think. It, yeah. I'm, That's why I go with a seven because it didn't quite it sound great. great to me. They sounded good, not. They great. sounded the best so far, I think. Yeah, I'll go with that. Can't wait to find out. What? what? Give me more dirty strings. All right, here we go. All right, the final, final, final countdown. countdown. Ooh, it's know. the final Sh no, countdown. No, sing it. Don't sing it. Oh, we're just playing now. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was oh really good. Oh, my God. That was a, oh, I especially like that bong. Yeah, that was good. That's, Ooh. that's tone. I think it's sick getting stuck to it. I hope his fingers are sticking. What is that, string cheese? I <laughs> get it. You know what? I'm gonna give that a three. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm not, I, this is the I'm last one. Go with two. two. Yeah, yeah, that's a We're two. Dropping. That is, I mean, I I've played Deader Strings, but they were like 47 years old. Yeah, the only thing that could be worse than that is uh, no strings at all. I mean, that was that was hammer dead. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It was. No, not, those were pretty bad. That was probably the dullest set of strings I've ever heard. I can't wait that to see was probably, the results. That was probably the most expensive set. You realize that, right? Well, well it's like possible. For, all right. All right. Let's get the results. The results are in. We what? have just been told. Yep. Results are in. Uh, the tabulations have been tallied and the uh, tallies have been tabulated. And they it's time to find out the results. <laughs> Three beats to the left. And we have the results. And a shoe. Thank you. I can't read this. Oh, sorry. Wait, that's upside down, too. <laughs> All right. That doesn't make any sense. All right, so we're going to rate the control group first. So these are okay. new out of the pack. Nothing's new out of the been pack, done to them. Just what we like, just by our ears. How does a coda string sound before it's gone through playing? Our number fifth place, five strings out of this section of the control group. This was the wild card. The, Ooh, uh, I love wild one cards. we threw in there to really freak our ears out. And it didn't work. We knew. Silk and Steel. Great string for a beginner. Easy on your fingers. Not so much on also, the tones. Well, it depends. If you like a really dark, almost dull type of tone, of you may love that. A finger style or something? Yep. Yeah. But, but compared to our a standard year, yeah. set of Frosted Bronze strings, definitely not fitting up there. All right. Coming in fourth, or coming in set, uh, fourth place. Fourth place, yes, you're right. Correct. <laughs> EJ 17. So those are an uncoated string. Standard, standard EJ cost for strings. Hmm. Which surprises me because I thought they'd be up higher in there because that's no, I mean, what we're used to. Well, I think that the problem with your theory there is 
we have so many good type of strings, and that was our base. We kind of knew, you know, you could feel that that was just, yeah, we said yeah, that, but, that's true. But, then, that so, our first but it sounds like right now the coded strings totally have outpaced the non-coded strings. I would say so, because bringing in at number three, we got the new XS treated strings from Denario. Uh, those would be your standard so, EJ-17s with a, a coating. Their treated strings out of the box sound better than their untreated. Interesting. It's interesting. Uh, number two brings it into our XT strings, hmm. which is a treated string, not a coated string uh, from Denario. And our number one slot, uh, kind of an upset around here because... Yeah. I've never really been a fan of them when I play them. Huge fan maybe the it's time. a I feel am thing. not. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it is a feel. Maybe, I don't know. So, the blind test works. It alters our opinions in the end. And, uh, so Elixir's came in number Elixir's one. came number one in our control. Now we and get these were, to the dirty... These were nano web, the, correct? Yes. I believe they were nano webs. Uh, we'll check the film on that. Ooh. But now we're going to get to the dirtiness. The, the dirt, the, the gross. Dirty, dirty. The Back. gross. Yes, the meatballs and the sauce, if you want. I don't know. If you that is not even a saying. That's the not a thing. And the hoagie and the potatoes. The hoagie and the potatoes. The sauerkraut and the uh, schnitzel. If, Nobody. No, no. If you no. Will. Anyway, coming in, not. coming in at number four, uh, in this set test, we didn't throw the wild card into this because it didn't matter. Um, so we only did four strings in this test of our acoustic shop treated strings, coated strings, however you want to call So let's see how coating stands up. In number four, we have the XS. From the Dare, their new upset. big release that they're super excited they about. They didn't like your treatment, Jay. Which is weird, because they came in at number three, which they, I mean, they I should, they, they, they moved down a slot. Yeah, they so did. apparently they do not like vinegar and hot sauce. No. Yeah, lemon juice and whatever else is in there. And right? holding true to this, the treatment just obviously doesn't hold up to our, our treatment. Coming in at number three would be the elixirs. Again, coated string. They got, they didn't like what we did to them. So wow. We might have found this kind of like the Achilles like heel of coating yeah, is like vinegar it. and lemon juice and this is uh, This is absolutely, as we finish these results out, this is the ultimate upset here. Yes, because coming in after that, we got our XT strings. Our the treated, treated strings. strings. So, and which stands to reason the number one uh, dirty string in our list would be the EJ 17s. Uncoded. Standard Foster Bonds, uncoated strings. So it seems to me like what does this whatever you guys put into that bowl, like bonded with the coatings, and the string that didn't have any coating, it couldn't bond with. I think it's like wearing foam pants. You know, you walk into the water and it just soaks it up, and then you're not going to do any high kicks. No. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> but if you go in the pants or in the water with no pants, exactly. High you're kick kicking all. You're going to be kicking Kick so much. In the end, we had some fun. We destroyed some strings. We, we made Trey we play some, some nasty. I'm kind of really, really not looking forward to seeing what my guitar looks like or does now. In the end. Um, I think a great ending to this would be for one of you guys to eat the concoction. Yes, we? No, I already know. No, no. Anyway, we want to thank you guys for watching the Acoustic Shop Labs once again. This is the most scientific study Science. that we can make. Can't argue and with you it. can't argue with it. It's just what it is. Uh, we will see you next time. Uh, with with more like science. Subscribe. And we have more science coming. Science. It's what you need, kids. Science. It's what plants crave. And we really appreciate you guys watching that video. It was my favorite it's one we've made so far. We've, we've done hundreds of videos, and that was the best one. It was. And the next one's going to be even better. If you'd like to see that, <laughs> be sure you subscribe to this channel. And also, the more you comment and inter interact below, the more the YouTube algorithms pick it up and start pushing it out to other people, like-minded people. Algorithms? Algorithms. They're everywhere. They permeate the internet, and YouTube's got one. And it watches our videos, and it sees how much you comment, and then it pushes this to other people like you. And we want everyone to experience the, the acoustic shop world where we talk about instruments, we do reviews, we got some fun videos coming up. We thank you guys so much for being a part of it and we'll see you in the next video.